Stepping back in time to the year 1613, Russia found itself at the dawn of a new era, the era of the Romanovs. This was a period that marked a significant turning point in the nation's history as Michael Romanov, a young and promising leader ascended the throne as the newly elected Tsar. In this pivotal moment, the seeds of the Romanov dynasty, Russia's second reigning dynasty, were sown. The ascension of Michael Romanov was not just a change of leadership, it was the establishment of a dynasty that would steer the course of Russia's history for over 300 years. The Romanovs, beginning with Michael, brought about an age of transformation, redefining Russia's standing on the global stage. Among the notable figures of this lineage, Peter I, also known as Peter the Great, truly embodied the spirit of this transformation. His reign was characterized by an unwavering commitment to elevate Russia into a major power. From modernizing the Russian army to extensive city planning and development, Peter the Great's influence was far-reaching. He successfully expanded Russia's territories and established the country as a formidable entity in the global political arena. This era of transformation did not come without its challenges, but the Romanov dynasty proved resilient, navigating the ebb and flow of power, politics, and change. They faced periods of turmoil known as the Time of Troubles, and yet the dynasty remained intact, further solidifying their place in history. The Romanov dynasty, a lineage that would shape the course of Russian history for the next three centuries, had begun. As we delve deeper into this remarkable journey, we will uncover the lives of the notable rulers, the challenges they faced, and the legacy they left behind. Stay tuned as we unfold the story of the Romanovs, a dynasty that played a pivotal role in shaping the Russia we know today. The Romanov dynasty saw a line of rulers, each leaving their indelible mark on Russia's history. Let's start with Peter the Great, a name that resonates with strength and transformation. Peter's reign was characterized by his relentless efforts to modernize Russia. He introduced sweeping reforms bringing Western ideas and technology to his homeland. His vision led to the establishment of the Russian Navy and the transformation of Russia into a significant maritime power. Then we have Catherine the Great, a German princess who became one of Russia's longest reigning female rulers. Her reign is often considered Russia's golden age. She expanded Russian territories, modernized its administration, and championed the arts, leaving behind a rich cultural legacy. Next, we move on to Alexander I, a ruler who played a key role on the global stage during the Napoleonic Wars. He was a central figure in the defeat of Napoleon's invasion of Russia in 1812, an event that boosted Russia's status as a world power. Our journey through the significant Romanov rulers wouldn't be complete without mentioning Alexander II, known as the Tsar Liberator. His most notable reform was the emancipation of serfs in 1861, a groundbreaking move that freed millions of Russian peasants and marked a significant turning point in Russian history. Each of these rulers, in their unique ways, contributed to the shaping of Russia. They navigated through times of change, embraced progress, and left lasting legacies. Their reigns were marked by dramatic reforms, territorial expansions, cultural advancements, and notable victories. The Romanovs, through their rule, had not only shaped Russia, but had left a profound impact on the world. The reign of Nicholas II, however, was fraught with challenges and turmoil. Ascending to the throne in 1894, Nicholas II was met with a time of great uncertainty, instability, and change. His reign, which spanned over two decades, was marked by a slew of challenges that left the once mighty Romanov dynasty teetering on the brink of collapse. Political unrest was a significant challenge that Nicholas II had to grapple with. The Russian populace was growing increasingly discontented, with the widening gap between the ruling class and the common folk becoming a source of constant tension. This unrest was amplified by the lack of political representation and the Tsar's resistance to democratic reforms. The situation worsened with the onset of the infamous Bloody Sunday Massacre in 1905, which further alienated Nicholas II from his subjects and sparked the First Russian Revolution. Nicholas II also faced economic difficulties during his reign. Despite Russia's vast natural resources and agricultural potential, the country struggled with underdevelopment and economic stagnation. The lack of modern industrial infrastructure and the heavy reliance on an increasingly discontented peasantry for agricultural production 
only served to exacerbate these economic woes. Further compounding these challenges was the onset of World War I. The war strained Russia's already struggling economy, leading to shortages of food and other essential goods. The Russian military, ill-prepared and ill-equipped, suffered severe losses, which only served to increase public dissatisfaction with Nicholas II's rule. These challenges, political unrest, economic difficulties and the burdens of war, created a perfect storm that led to growing discontent among the Russian populace. The people were disillusioned, their faith in the Romanov dynasty had been shaken and they were ready for change. Nicholas II's reign was a tumultuous time, a stark contrast to the power and prestige the Romanovs had once held. His inability to effectively address the mounting challenges ultimately led to the end of more than three centuries of Romanov rule, marking a significant turning point in Russian history. The mounting pressures of ruling a nation in turmoil led to the unthinkable, the abdication of Nicholas II. In 1917, Nicholas II, the last emperor of Russia, made a decision that would forever change the course of history. Facing the relentless tide of revolution and the growing discontent of his people, Nicholas II made the difficult choice to abdicate the throne, marking the end of the Romanov dynasty. This was not a decision taken lightly. For over three centuries, the Romanovs had been the figurehead of Russian power and prestige. They had weathered storms and navigated through the turbulent waves of time, but the mounting pressures of the early 20th century proved to be a tempest too fierce. The once great dynasty was teetering on the brink of collapse, and the abdication of Nicholas II was the final nail in the coffin. The impact of this event was felt far beyond the borders of Russia. It signaled the end of an era, an era of monarchies and dynastic rule. It marked the rise of a new order, one that would see the people rise up against centuries of royal rule. This was a time of great change, not just in Russia, but throughout the world. The abdication of Nicholas II was a turning point, a moment that set the stage for the dramatic end of the Romanov dynasty. It brought with it a wave of uncertainty, a sense of loss for what once was, and a stark realization of the inevitable march of progress. The world watched as Russia grappled with this monumental shift in power. The abdication of Nicholas II was not just the end of a dynasty, it was the beginning of a new chapter in history, a chapter marked by change, upheaval, and the relentless pursuit of a new order. With Nicholas II's abdication, the curtain was closing on the Romanov dynasty, a dynasty that had ruled Russia for over three centuries. The final act of the Romanov saga was a tragic one, marked by the execution of Nicholas II and his family. The year was 1918 and the stage was set for one of the most heart-rending episodes in the annals of Russian history. The Romanovs, who had ruled Russia with an iron fist for more than three centuries, found themselves at the mercy of the Bolsheviks, the very embodiment of the revolution they had tried so desperately to suppress. The family's fate was sealed in the early hours of July 17, 1918, in the basement of Ipatiev House in Yekaterinburg. Nicholas II, his wife Alexandra, their five children and four loyal servants, were led into a room under the pretext of a family photograph. The truth, however, was far more sinister. A squad of Bolshevik soldiers under orders from the Ural Soviet carried out the execution in a matter of minutes. The once formidable Romanov dynasty was extinguished in a hail of bullets. The execution of the Romanovs was more than just a brutal act of violence. It was a definitive statement, a loud and clear message from the revolutionaries to the world. The age of the Romanovs was over. A new chapter in Russian history had begun. The monarchy, which had been the bedrock of Russian society for centuries, was replaced by a communist regime, promising equality and justice for all. In the aftermath of the execution, the Romanovs became symbols of the old order, a reminder of a time when power was concentrated in the hands of a few. Their downfall served as a stark warning to other monarchies around the world, a lesson in the transient nature of power. The Romanovs, a dynasty that had once held immense power, met a tragic end. Their story serves as a poignant reminder of the fleeting nature of power and the inexorable march of history.